Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here it is. Uh, this is a box that I'm about to reveal to you guys that I actually ordered back when I did the Pokemon pack battle versus Wildcat. Um, it was a pretty crazy pack battle. We, we, we both managed to pull a shiny Charizard. He pulled one on literally the very, very last pack. Go watch it if you haven't already. But uh, basically, we had a little playoff, and he recommended this box to me. This is called the Pokemon sun and moon team up build and battle set so there's a little kind of like two-part thing first of all let me before i forget that let's go ahead and do that there's a little two-part thing to this um basically there's five kind of like uh, build and battle boxes here and each one comes with like its own set deck and one of those decks can actually hold a charizard as the main card it's actually a pretty darn cool charizard so we're gonna go ahead and bust into this i don't think we're gonna be opening up all of these today we're probably gonna split this into two parts because i mean this is i i'm gonna i'm just gonna throw it out there this this box right here that you're looking at uh cost a thousand dollars it's kind of old it's uh it, it's it's kind of one of the older sets it's also a really really good set they have a ton of really really like not only expensive cards but also like cool looking cards um and i was incorrect i thought it was going to be the big ones it's actually the uh small ones so we have a lot more this is what they look like right here and basically we'll have it'll be like a little two-part opening obviously we'll get the uh card and then we'll have more sets in there uh, to open up. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and bust into these things and see our very first one here. Now I, I I've been I've been on a Discord call with someone who has opened these, but I didn't actually wasn't I wasn't actually like watching. So this will be my first kind of experience doing a build and battle like opening ever because I've seen them before, but I've never actively opened one myself. So this this should be very very interesting. Um, if I can figure out how oh it opens down here. No, it doesn't open down there. No, it slides out. So there's the art, Zekrom and Pikachu. Pretty cool. So 23 card evolutions pa uh, evolution pack, including one of four unique foil promo cards. So you have a one in four chance of getting that Charizard. And then uh, you get four booster packs of team up, which is, again, just such a great set, man. I've taken a look at a few of the cards. And here it is. This is what you get. We have uh, 10 of these over here. And our first one I can already see, unfortunately is a Nido Queen, <laughs> which is uh, obviously not what you're looking for when it comes to this. So I'll go ahead and open this up because it's the first one. I, I basically, wh whichever one is the first one we get, I'll go ahead and open it up because these are set every time, but I'll show you like the, th this will be the same order of cards, everything. And then the Nido Queen uh, actually like, I guess chooses what the, the set is going to look like. So We'll go ahead and go through here. I've, I've actually, dude, that Charmander looks so funny. <laughs> the, uh, I've never actually opened up Team Up before, this, so this is my first time doing it. And I've looked at a few of the cards. Wow, a lot of Ponytas. Rapidash, Rapidash. Uh, and then, I, obviously, this deck is kind of built so that it, it's actually, like, usable and playable in the game. It's like cards that you would actually have in a deck. So, that, that like, if you're actually playing Pokemon... Uh, like a weirdo actually playing the training card game instead of just collecting the cards. That's what it that's what it does right there. So we'll go ahead and sleeve up this. I mean, it's still a pretty cool card, Nido Queen, but it, it's a it's a it's an OG 151 card, but uh, obviously not the one we wanted. All these are pretty much like not useless, you know what I mean? But uh, like not worth anything except for the Charizard, and the Charizard is obviously the coolest one. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, get into this thing. And what we actually are looking for in this are team up cards. So you've seen me open up some in the past uh, where it's basically like so and so, like this Pokemon and this Pokemon. F me. The effing pack has this on this way. It's the, okay. Well, we know we're not getting anything in this pack, unfortunately. I, I'm not even going to try to guess the energy here because it won't make a difference um, unless there's some sort of crazy pack error. Uh, but basically yeah so that is the slot that's a cool lapras dude lapras is such a sick poke i feel like lapras is one of the like snorlax gets a lot of love um uh, what else there, there's lots of like original pokemon or like a gen 1 gen 2 pokemon that get a lot of love but lapras i i feel like is not one of them i mean the, the, they give them oh gosh i did it again okay well we actually have a pull in this one so at least it's spoiled in a good way okay i gotta remember flip the entire deck here we go 
Uh, but yeah, like I know Zekrom and Pikachu is a team up card you can get. There's lots of really, really nice ones. I love that Dragonair. And I actually, I'm, I'm really loving this set because I actually know like pretty much all the Pokemon that we've gone through so far. Uh, here we go. Volibi and oh my God, first, well, not first pack, but almost first pack, the Nita trainer card full art. Dude, that's a, that's insane. Hold on, I, I have the uh, I have the prices pulled up. So in in case we did pull anything, we can see what we got. Uh, what is this? 180 out of 181. 180 out of this is a hundred and twenty-five dollar card in a PSA 10. On our second pack, are you kidding me? Centering a little off top to bottom and maybe a little left to right. So centering not so great on this one, and even on the front, you can tell the centering's not that great. It's shifted into this corner, but holy dude i'm not planning on selling it anyway so who cares holy crap that would what is our okay all right all right there's there's some really good so just to give you an idea of some of the best cards that we're looking for in this uh the full art latios and latias uh it looks like this such a cool looking card is worth 500 dollars in a psa 10 uh we have a 300 dollars eevee and snorlax card uh, Rainbow, there's $400 Pikachu and Zekrom. Sabrina's Suggestion would be a $200. There's so the, This is kind of like Hidden Fates in, in which there's a lot of sets. Like, there's the Snorlax and Eevee right there. There's a lot of set uh, like cards in this set that are highly sought after. It's kind of like Hidden Fates in that regard. I keep hitting this knife. I need to... Oh! I leaked. Unbelievable. Dude, I can't... What is wrong with me? What is actually wrong with me? Why Why can I not remember? Okay, I'm not going to forget for this last pack. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get through here. Uh, Dratini, Alolan Grimer, Ponita, Cosmog, Dewblade, and Ferrothorn, unfortunately. I'm st I tried to hunt for this shiny in Pokemon Go and unfortunately could not get him at all. Could not get him in the slightest. It was a, it was a grind and a half, but no luck. It's not coming out nicely. All right, we've got some uh, Gen 1 starter here. Squirtle. Bro, the, the Gen 1 starters... Okay, flipping the entire deck as to not spoil. There we go. Uh, the Gen 1 starters are, uh, are are kind of funny arts in this set. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen them like this before. Lavender Town, Nidorino, Dangerous Drill. There's the Squirtle. Tentacool, Grimer, Pidgey. Oh, we have something. Dratini and a Tapu Coco. What in the... That is a weird, weird card. Galventula. Dude, I've seen these cards before, but this is the first one that I've gotten, like, actually hollow. I I, I guess this is just what the hollows... What is the actual name of this? Let's see. 51. This is called the Tapu Coco Hollow. $30 card. So that's actually a pull right there. That's actually a pull. That... I mean, this box is thousand dollars so <laughs> not exactly making our money back on that or anything but actually i mean a thousand dollars divided by 10 is a hundred dollars per yeah i mean if that was a psa 10 if we sold all three of those cards uh oh, not even showing them if i sold all three of these cards i would probably make my money back on this right here and honestly if you guys know in the pokemon world that's kind of a pog that's that's good <laughs> that's that's a very very good thing because especially on the older stuff making your money back is the hardest is the hardest thing ever even though I, uh, as you guys know i don't actually sell the cards the only cards i would honestly consider selling are uh oh let's go we got them dude that's such a nice charizard too oh my god let's go let's go dude that's so sick it's actually worth some money too all right well let's go ahead and open this up and we're gonna sleeve it asap um i know it's probably better technically if i leave it in here but i i don't want to keep all of these um i just want to keep the charizard so i'm gonna go ahead and take this out okay uh centering Ugh, the edge is not i mean it's kind of hard to see the edge is not great even pack fresh it's so hard to get a psa 10 that, that's that's why you always have to make the stipulation. Yeah, this card is worth a lot of money in a PSA 10, like because it's. I mean, you got you gotta you gotta like make make that known that the PSA 10 is not something that is easily attained at all in the slightest. Okay, and there we go. 
Charizard, baby. Easy Zard. Easy Zard to start us off here. Uh, let's, I mean, all these cards are going to be just like not. Oh, here we go. The Charmander, Charmeleon, Ponita. So it's just kind of like a themed deck around your Charizard. Farfetch, Molga, Blitzel, Zebstrika. And there's the co card. So. Oh, these these little, these things are pretty cool and uh, i really like the fact that it's like a two-part opening like you get the original part of the opening and then you get the <laughs> like you get the i mean this part but you also just get to see if you have a charizard right off the bat i think it's really really cool all right so flipping the entire thing as do not spoil and one two three four let's see what we got here let's go fire Ooh, i was hoping i was hoping to keep the fire charizard going I was hoping Magikarp, Zorua, Larvitar, uh, Psyduck, ba Buff Padding, and another Lapras, unfortunately. Buff Padding. Bro, it reminds me of like Goku or something. The buff Padding. I can't, be I can't believe our, our luck so far. On the, second, on the second one, we got the Charizard pack. And on our second pack, we got the, uh, we got the Full Art Trainer card. So... We're, we're having, I mean, Sabrina's suggestion would have been probably the best one to get. I, did, I didn't look through all of them, uh, but it is what it is. We're looking for any tag team cards, though. We have to at least get one, right? Cosmog and a Ferrothorn non-hollow. Dude, this set really does actually remind me a lot about of Hidden Fates. Kind of like where you, you kind of know if you have anything good. Like, you just have that feeling going through. I don't know how, I don't know, like, what feeling I'm describing, but I have the same feeling with this as I do with Hidden Fades. It's like, uh, here, here's 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 what I'm feeling. You kind of know when something good's coming up because there's always something that you want. There's always something good right around the corner. corner. That's a sick Kabuto card. Nidorina, Hone Edge, Weedle, Ponita, Medip, Charmander, Zebstrika, and a Gavantula, non-holographic. So... I now have the feeling in my bones that this one is going to be at least a at least a full art. I mean, a, a secret rare, a secret rare could be pretty pog, but I'm not going to I'm not going to shoot that high up into the stars. We're shooting for the stars, but I'm not expecting to land amongst them, you know what I mean? Fire. Dang it. I got to stop guessing fire. <laughs> Sabrina's suggestion, uh, a lowland graveler. It's cool. It's a cool card. Charmander, Hone Edge, Pidgeotto. Nidorino, and a Hollow Lugia. Holy crap. Okay, I don't think this one is super, super good. Uh, just b based on the fact that there's like full arts and stuff in here. Oh my God. What? This Lugia is $216. Bro, that is the equivalent. This is why this set is so expensive. That is the equivalent right here of pulling like a Charizard out of evolutions. That's the equivalent right here. Oh my God. And the centering's not that bad at all either. It's not perfect. A little off top to bottom. Dang it. The centering's have been so bad recently for me, but let's go. Oh, I, I didn't even show this. Sorry. Sorry about that. Lugia. Sorry. I'll show the centering one more time. I always forget. I always forget. I like keeping these in one take though. I don't like editing them. So people think they're staged or anything like that. That is so, so nice. All right, that deserves a hard case for sure. Okay. Woo! I instinctively went for like the, the thigh grab. You know, when you drop something, you try to like catch it in your lap. I instinctively did that and I very nearly bent the card in half. I need a better system. I need a better system because I, I now am better at the card savers uh, where I'm not like having to force the card in anymore. But... That that system is not working because I I just need to I it's not not good it's not good. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we have now pulled a hundred plus dollar card and a two hundred dollar plus card in a PSA ten. Um. Come on. Come on now. There we go. So some people some people have been saying my knife might be a little bit too big for this job, but I say you never. There's no such thing as a too big of a knife. No such thing. That sounded creepy. I don't know why. Oh my god, did we just get another one? Let's go! We are now two for three on the Zards. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Wait, this is su this is such a sick opening so far. Okay, let me let me get the Zard off. Um, okay, no, let's set those down. The Zard, the centering on this one is also really really off left to right. The top and bottom look great. Left to right though, not so much. Oh man, the centering in this set has not been great for me. So I'll show you this. These cards right here are going to be literally the exact same cards as last time. You see, uh, uh, wait, wait, I thought, wait, I think, wait, no, wait, are they not the same exact card? I thought they were the same exact cards. I can't remember. I can't remember that far. Either way, there's going to be, no, there's no like pog cards in there. There's absolutely no like pog, pog cards. There's nothing to pull. So let's keep going here. Man, I'm excited to open more of this. We'll probably space this out over, uh, over the course of like, two videos or so you know what i mean just to keep it going all right no spoilers i didn't see the card but i did see this hollow right here there's a hollow in here for sure one two three four here we go let's go fairy i was gonna say fire but i uh, but i decided to change it up king gas can hitman joltik a blitzel squirtle the, the arts are so cute in this martina would definitely be able to make a cute deck <sighs> all right come on baby show me the goods Yes, dude! It's Cineroar GX full art! Holy... That is such... A, that is the coolest... I, I actually said this on a previous video. I was honestly not a fan at all of Incineroar's cards. I love this Incineroar. This is such a nice art on it, too. Oh my god, the centering is like a tiny bit off top to bottom, but pretty much the best centering we've had so far today. Let's see. I, I mean, I gotta know, right? 167 out of 181. 167 out of 181 a 69 nice dollar card right there at psa 10 wild last sold <laughs> Woo! wow this opening has been sick dude this has actually been so sick i love this set so much i please don't please don't let me buy another one see th the problem is i'm such a completionist now that i've now that i'm gonna go through and open 10 of these building battles i'm gonna be like oh well I have to, uh, what's it called? I have to go for, um, I have to go for completing the entire set, but this one is legitimately too expensive. It's a hundred dollars for four packs of cards and one, uh, one promo. You know what I mean? Like I cannot, I literally cannot afford to, to, to do this. Like this channel, this channel has been going great, but I, I, I will be wasting so much money if I try to go for it. Electrode. Is that like a... It's like knitted. They they have those like like claymation ones that they've done as well. This, I've never seen a knitted Pokemon though. That's really weird, huh? Interesting. Very strange art. If I was Electrode, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, what the heck? This 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 Incineroar gets to look like this, and I and I have to look like a, a, I'm a knitted like plushie. What the heck, brother? Here we go. Uh, let's go a little psychic. No. Kakuna, Rapidash, Return Label, Pidgey. Man, I, I do not like, I didn't, I don't like this art and I don't like the Pidgey art. I don't like that art either. Don't like that art either, but that is fire to me. It looks like it's Paper Mario. It's so cool how many different ones they have. Mimikyu and an Alolan Muck. One of the most confusing shinies ever. Is it Alolan Muck that's like, that's like, the shiny just looks like regular Muck or the other way around? I, I can't, there's some, there's something with, uh, the Alolan Mucks and the regular Mucks where the shiny looks like the other, it just looks normal, but for the other, uh, the other, like, versions. I forgot what it is. Some, someone can remind me in the comments. Uh, fire. Let's go. A little bit, a uh, little bit of extra luck here. Hitmonchan, Larvitar, Meowth. I like this Meowth. It's cool art. Don't like that again. Mareep. Like that. Ferris, Pharisee. I just don't like that Pokemon. Dana and a Parasect, unfortunately. Is that it? All right, that's it for that one. Away we go into the next build and battle. We'll do, how about this? We'll do, we'll do two more. So this can be split into two videos, right? $500 a video doesn't sound too bad, right? All right, wait, no, I want to do this one first. Let's do this one first. I have a good feeling about that other one. That's going to have the, uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, Wildcat pulled a Wailord and uh, 
It was Waylord and Feebas, I think. That team up card is hilarious. Please tell me we got it again. No, Nido Queen. Well, we're all we're just straight up 50-50 on Nido Queens, and uh, I'm just gonna set this. Eh, we'll, we'll open it up. We've already we've already seen this, but I guess I can try to remember if the uh, if the deck itself is the same. Uh, Emolga, Blitzel. I think this was the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same. It ended in Mux as well, if I remember. I, I really don't, though. Um, yeah, $500, $500 a video. Seems about right. That is definitely way more money than I'm going to make in ad revenue on this channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. It's, it's, my, it's the one thing. It's the one thing that can quench my, my Pokemon habits is getting more subscribers. I really want to hit 100K on this channel. That's, that's my, my overall goal is just getting to 100K. Once we hit 100K, we're going to do something big. We're going to do something big. Possible time to do the Team Rocket box? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Kabuto, Fairy Charm, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Grimer, Pidgey, Meowth, and a Pinsir. Man, I thought the card was like sticking for a second. And I was like, ooh, usually that means... Usually that means we're going to get something good in the next ca card. Like it's st if it's being stuck to it, because that means it's like textured. But I, I guess the cards were just being sticky for some reason. Three, four. Here we go. Fire. Nope. Dark Energy, Hitmanchan, Grass Memory. Persian. That's new. I haven't seen that yet. Squirtle, Grimer, Pidgey, Dratini. I like that Dratini a lot. Ponard. Pawniard, Pawniard, Pawniard. Not sure how to pronounce that one. Tinnacool. And a Mr. Mime GX. Let's go. Usually the GXs are like the worst versions. Uh, these are like the, the poop versions. But whatever. It's fine. 67. Six, I, I guarantee there's like no sales. Just, just based on the way this card looks. 67 or there's very few. Uh, wait, 67? 67. Oh, I'm at 76. 67 $31 so I mean okay I'm, I've been proven wrong but I mean for how much this set costs that's <laughs> not a good not a good pull it's all right that's why I put the other one aside because I know that's the one that has the fire pulls in it I know I just know here we go there's the code card and away we go one two three four let's go water nope Man, I, I am not guessing the energy. I've had that one fire call, and that's it. Alolan Grimer. Gosh, I can't remember what it is with the shiny. I really can't. An edge. Dratini and a Bronzong. Bronzong. Something about Bronzong just makes me want to sing my little heart out. I don't know. If that's the, probably the weirdest statement I've ever said in my entire life. But... <laughs> I don't know why. Why? Why? Don't ask me. Don't know. Can't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Fairy, Farfetch'd, Co Cos. How do you spell? How do you spell this one? C O Cosmoem. Cosmoem. Right. See, look, that's the claymation one. That's the claymation one. Bronzor, Dratini. I like the Dratini art a lot, actually. Ponita, Mankey, and. A Lycanroc GX. You know what Lycanroc I actually need way more than this Lycanroc? Is I need to pull the Lycanroc in Hidden Fates. I pulled, there's two, for some reason there's two different Lycanrocs in Hidden Fates. I pulled the same one like six times. Not six, twice. But I can't pull the other one. So, Lycanroc, bit meh, honestly. 82. Let's see. I mean, Lycanroc, that is a $55 card. Man, every card in here is like, I mean, it's it's worth something. You know what I mean? Like, it's not worthless. $55 card in a PSA 10. So, the, the, like, the problem is, though, like, A, like, okay, let's pretend that I, I mean, A, I'm not even selling cards. I don't sell my cards. Um, but let's just, let's just pretend for a minute I did. Let's think, of, did I get, oh, Zapdos. Oh, I didn't know that you could pull a Zapdos out of here. Oh, that's sick. I love Zapdos. Zapdos. <laughs> um... The, the, the cost you have to factor in is like first you have to you have to put a car, uh, penny sleeve on it card saver it not 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 a big expense right not a big expense let's just look at these real quick 
uh farfetch okay so i see so the card on the front is random and then the cards that you get behind it are also like there's a there's certain sets of them but it's also random that's uh, that, that that makes sense cool looking zapdos though he looks fierce he looks ready to rumble ready to tussle um but yeah so so at cheapest if you're just sending it into psa it's ten dollars and that's if you're paying that's like counting your month your yearly subscription or whatever you know what i mean so ten dollars it takes a long time to get back uh, it takes like a long long time to get back to you um it finally gets back to you and uh now you have to sell it so you have to pay like a fee on ebay or whatever and then you have to pay for it to be shipped again and you still have to ship it to psa so a $50 card is really not going to make you a ton of money, to be completely honest. It's because it, it has to be graded PSA 10. Uh, you have to get the 10. $10 to send it. So, honestly, unless cards are above, like, I mean, I mean depending on how, like, much you want to min-max, but unless cards are, like, above $50 or so. Man, so many Nido Queens. Uh, like, probably above, like, $100 or so. It's really honestly not really worth it to, to sell them because <laughs> I mean it, it is if you like really 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 want to just put in a lot of work to do it but it is a lot of work as well you have to like list the card track the you know what I mean and then you have to obviously get it back from PSA if you do pull the Lugia though you're in good shape metal goggles Golduck grass memory Magikarp execute Helio Helio Helioptile I've never seen that Pokemon in my entire life I'm not gonna lie to you Nidorino, Nidoran, rather, and a Mighty Ina. Man, our luck started off so good. It started off so good. That's all right. That's all right. I can't complain. I tend to, I tend to forget about all the positives whenever we're just on a streak of bad pulls. Even, even though the pulls aren't really that bad. They're really not bad at all, but I'm still on a streak of them. So here we go. Fire energy. Let's get it. Water memory. Ammonite. And Gascan, Pidgeotto, Nidoran, Cosmog, Magikarp, Zorua, Mimikyu, and an Amastar Hollow. I'm going to look this one up just because the, I mean, Lugia is just one of the crowd favorites though. So I, I imagine this card at 76, I imagine this card is like, yeah, $10, $10. So pretty cool, um, but not not anything not anything crazy all right here it is last pack of the day ladies and gentlemen i'm looking for that snorlax and eevee team up card we have did we not pull a single we didn't pull a single team up did we we pulled really really good individual cards but no team up was pulled that's crazy <laughs> here we go fairy energy war turtle okay we've got something different we've got a starter tauros Persian, Vulpix, that's a cute looking Vulpix. Pancham, don't like that. Scorp, that is a be okay, that art is sick. Is this a good pack? We're getting all different cards. Is this the right set? Pawnard and an Alolan Marowak. Man. Well, we started off really, really hot and then we cooled off quick, but we pulled some good cards here. Zapdos, Lycanroc GX, Mr. Mime GX, Nido Queen. We've got that Incineroar full art. We've got that Charizard team up. Uh, we have another one in there, obviously. The Tapu Coco, that full art Nita trainer card, Nido Queen again, and then the big boys that we pulled today. I mean, obviously, this Charizard is on par with them, but the Lugia and the Charizard itself. That is a sick Charizard. I think this one is actually better centering, so I'm probably going to card save for that one uh, as well. So, wow. Not too bad at all. That Lugia is so, so nice. So nice. Anyway, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is the uh, team up build and battle uh, little sets here. We're going to be opening up the other five. We have five more to do. We'll be doing that uh, very, very soon. So uh, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and uh, send me your energy because we, we didn't, we pulled really good cards, but not a single team up card, man. I'm crying out here. I'm actually crying. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.